Most good morning to your colleagues. I would like to give a, a, a talk on the radiation therapy of the soft tissue. So this is a rare group of tumors of the mesenchymal and cellular, uh, and they account for one percent of all the adult tumors. But uh, uh, the uh, WHO classification talks about 156 histological subtypes, which, as a uh, uh, malignancy grade, affect uh, disease cause. These uh, tumors have hemorrhagic metastasis uh, and uh, uh, they uh, strongly relapse. Uh, the rate for local relapses could reach up to 90%. Since those are still a uh, method to treat primary relapse and sarcomas, is a surgical excision with negative surgical margin. The results of uh, uh, RCTs shows that it makes sense to use combined treatment uh, surgery plus radio, uh, radiotherapy in adjuvant uh, or non-adjuvant -adju -adju uh, modes. Pre-op uh, radiotherapy has several advantages. First of all, it provides uh, considerable tumor delineation, decrease of its uh, implantation potential, a decrease of its uh, biological aggressiveness, which uh, makes the surgery less uh, better or higher ablastic. I'm sorry, I cannot switch the slides. Um, uh, and besides, uh, radiotherapy shows uh, um, better uh, determination of the tumor volume, uh, and thus with more accurate planning of the dose. Uh, the basic uh, the disadvantage of the pre-op radiotherapy is statistically increased risk for post-op complications. In 2004, there were published results of the large RCT showing that from the point of view of uh, local regional control, there is no statistically significant difference between uh, radiotherapy in pre- or post-op period. Uh, however, when uh, providing pre-op radiotherapy, the risk for severe post-op complications uh, is considerably higher. Also, recently, the NOS American group on uh, studying on uh, uh, soft tissue sarcoma studies, uh, they, st they study uh, hypofractionation and shows a stereotoxic radio radiotherapy in pre-op mode. Not only uh, never increases the uh, uh, time of before surgery, but, uh, but also does decrease the rate of post-op complications. The different hypofraction uh, fractioning uh, uh, regimens uh, makes possible to pro uh, produce use similar, day, uh, similar result uh, like uh, regular fractionation. Also, we shouldn't forget about systemic effect of radiotherapy while the radio beams uh, destroy tumor DNA and thus through APC uh, system, immune, uh, Im immune, immune system of the host better recognizes the um, tumor tissue providing systemic effect, and thus we decided to produce a protocol for combined treatment of soft tissue sarcomas, which was registered in the National Registry for Clinical uh, uh, Trials. It has three stages. First stage is a pre stereotoxic radiotherapy uh, in hyperfractionation mode. Uh, those in the only tumor tissue only, then radical surgery is uh, provided, and then we uh, produce, and then we do post-op radiation of the subclinical uh, tumor bed. Mm, and uh, to, uh, and uh, between the f uh, first and second stage, the difference is three, four weeks. And post-op uh, radiotherapy is provided with the time frame, uh, mm, uh, the time, within the time frame when the uh, operational wound is fully healed. First stage, stereotoxic radiotherapy on the basis of the MRI and CT data, uh, we uh, form uh, uh, CTV. Uh, one, uh, 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 we, we form the tumor volumes, and we um, will we uh, then we de develop CTV one volume, which completely uh, compliant compliant with GTV one, and with those five fractions of five grays, with total those twenty five grays, uh, then we do a, a radiotherapy of uh, CTV two with a total dose of seven grays, and using of two vol radiation volumes makes possible not only to produce considerable anti-tumor effect on the main tumor uh, volume, but uses additional sentiment around the tumor, decreases the risks of post-op complications since the 
most of the tumor mass is irradiated in quite high doses. Also, stereotoxic radiotherapy is uh, provided considering uh, position of skin and uh, vascular and ner nerve bundles. Then the uh, soft tissue tumor is removed with, uh, following with histology and assessment of uh, therapeutic patomorphosis. So we assess and compare um, both the uh, pre-op uh, uh, core biopsy with uh, microspecimen of uh, post-op material. We can see that therapeutic patomorphosis is expressed with uh, large zones of uh, tumor necrosis, fibrosis, and appearance of tumor shadows. And the third stage is a 3D conform uh, distant uh, radiation therapy in classic mode, 25 fractions of uh, 2 grays each, up to the total dose of 50 grays. And here the dose distribution is uh, uh, smoother and is calculated considering the area of subclinical um, uh, um, disease. And uh, currently, uh, 13 patients were treated within that protocol, five uh, males, eight uh, females. Uh, Follow-up median is uh, nine months. Histological tumor subtimes included uh, in the study are here. We see mostly patients with soft tissue liposarcomas. The tumor size was assessed on the basis of primary MRI and CT, and uh, the tumors were staged using a TNM, uh, eight version of TNM. Uh, and I should like to say that all patients in the protocol had uh, localized the process without uh, distant metastasis. Uh, majority of patients had uh, primary sarcoma. Uh, also, we see uh, small pre um, prevailing of high-grade tumors, and sarcomas was, were mostly uh, located at the low extremities, which is similar to the international data. As a, result, as a result of stereotoxic radiotherapy, two patients developed first grade of post-radiation epitheliitis according to CTLT uh, criteria, uh, CTCA of uh, first version. Uh, no other negative events were found. As a result of stereotoxic radiotherapy, uh, the uh, irradiated tissues were clearly delineated from normal uh, healthy tissue. That's why mm, the radical uh, pattern of remote tumor uh, could be explained. Uh, uh, in all, hundred, all cases, the wound was closed with local tissues, and healing uh, was uh, the wound healed within uh, five weeks. The, uh, the distribution of the percentage of necrosis and therapeutic paraphosis according to the histological subtypes is pro pro uh, provided at that um, uh, graph. In two patients, post op period, uh, in post op period, the infrared de uh, developed, which required additional drainage of the post op wound. That's why we had to postpone onset of the post op radiation uh, by 71 and 99 days, uh, respectively. And I would like to say that uh, in those patients, the surgery was done because of the soft tissue sarcoma with a size of more than 15 centimeters of, of large size, which corresponds to T4 uh, criteria in TNM system. Four patient, in four patients, the uh, cause of post-op radiotherapy was complicated with uh, signs of uh, radiation epithelitis uh, of uh, grade one. In one case, lymphostasis of secondary developed, um, and we didn't see any complications of grade three or four. According to TCA or Canadian classification, were not detected in uh, any of the patients during at least 120 days after the completion of the last protocol uh, stage. Talking about the patient follow-up, according to the control CT and MRI, local relapses have not been detected in any of the patients, and three patients showed generalized process with metastasis in lungs and bone metastasis. Uh, uh, main uh, intermediate conclusions are the following. Compl uh, combination of pre-op uh, stereotoxic radiotherapy and post-op radiotherapy doesn't result in increased uh, amount of uh, serious uh, post-op complications. Stereotoxic uh, radiotherapy is an effective method to treat primary tumor, which is uh, uh, expressed with a high percentage of necrosis, but we need to study further uh, possibilities of the suggested uh, combination from the point of view of increased effectiveness of treatment of patients with soft tissue sarcoma. Thank you for your attention.